Hello, uh, this is Narain three phase digital control starter model DOLDS with an option of built in MCV or fuses. So, this is a digital starter as mentioned. So, this offers uh, the motor safety features such as uh, overload protection, dry run protection, single phase protection, and also single phase motor cable cut protection. And along with that, it also has three phase uh, digital ammeter display on the LCD and a two-phase voltmeter display and whenever the motor turns off due to any of the errors it will display the error condition on the LCD at the same time you know displaying the uh, error tripping current so these are all the features which are there in this particular starter and the beauty of this starter is uh, we have given a, a lot of uh, customizable options here so if you can just have a look at the uh, outlook so this has the three-phase supply indicators so we'll just power on the supply so as soon as we power on so there's an mcb inside so powering them on will uh, light up the three phase led indicators here then this is a switch provided to read out uh, the parameters on the display so just in case if you want to read the parameters here you can press and hold this switch the display will light up and it will show you the readings here so this is uh, the voltage incoming supply voltage between r and y phase at the same time it has uh, low current setting high current setting for dry run and overload features then it has the three phase ammeter display on the second line and this is the motor status if the motor is on or off that will be indicated here there's a, a led which indicates motor condition presently on or not and there is a switch uh, this is a switch here which can be used to uh, turn on the auto start unit auto start unit are widely used in the agricultural sector uh, so auto start unit the purpose of that product is to switch on the motor as well as the three phase supply is uh, resumed which is back so they want the motor to run for as long as there is three phase supply so whenever the three phase supply is back this auto start unit inside this will make sure uh, the motor starts automatically so this is pretty much about the auto start unit so uh, i spoke about customization earlier so when it when it comes to customization of this starter so this is an mcb here so this starter is available in the form of mcb or fuses so you can decide what you want then this is a contactor and here for demonstration we've used uh, BCH contactors that is the Cutler armor. Then if you don't want BCH contactors we also give you an option of LNT MU series. So that is the customizable feature for this. Again when it comes to auto start unit you have two models. The first one is uh, the basic auto start unit which is model C. Then we have another auto start unit called model ASDT wherein you can adjust the on delay time between 0 to 20 minutes. So if at all you have a deeper borewell and you want to uh, adjust the uh, turning on interval, you can al also go for the different auto start unit. This is the motor protection relay, which is pretty much the standard uh, uh, protection relay. This is, uh, again, the whole starter is available in 1 to 5 HP range, 3 to 7.5 HP as well as 10 HP DOL. So this is a DOL starter, direct online starter. So which is available in uh, different HP ratings. This is a current sensing digital relay. So meaning all the tripping takes place based on the current drawn by the motor. The load is the motor here. So this is pretty much about it. We will quickly jump into the reviews and before that there is a connector provided inside. So this connector is given to replace the auto start unit. So just in case uh, there is uh, the failure of auto start unit for some reason. So we have provided this connector so that the auto start unit can be easily replaced without changing the wires inside. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much about the features of the starter. We will quickly have a look at the operation. So if you want to switch on the motor manually, you will be press, use, using this green button to switch on the motor manually and to switch it on, uh, switch it off, you will use the red button. Okay. And uh, quickly jumping into the, the display part and the current settings explanation. So this is the low current and high current setting as mentioned earlier. So, in order to adjust the high current and low current values, right below the display, we have given two knobs. So, these knobs uh, can be used to set the values. So, we will uh, see to it that uh, see those settings while the motor is running. So, in order to switch on the motor manually, you need to press and hold this button for three seconds. So, pressing uh, holding this button, you will see this motor on light. Then you can release the button. You can then see the motor running. So, motor just turned on, and the motor which we are using is drawing. 4 ampere load in all the three lines then this is the status motor on if you want to read out the voltage while the motor is running you can press this uh, switch so the voltage uh, display shows up here yeah. uh, once the voltage is recorded you can always release this button 
yeah, jumping into the low current and high current settings. So this is the low current setting and this is the high current setting, the green color now. So uh, you will have to first see the, num uh, the load taken by your motor. And while the motor is running successfully, that is when you will have to make the adjustments the first uh, time you run the motor. So low current is the dry run setting and high current is the overload setting. So record all the three lines are current and so for example if you have a 5 HP motor or a 6 HP motor the current drawn will be around 10 Ampere or 11 Ampere. So if the motor is drawing 11 Ampere in all the three lines what you can do is you can set L to 2 numbers below that value. So if the motor is drawing 11 Ampere, then you can set L to 11 minus 2, that is 9 Ampere here. So in order to set the L value, you can make use of this now. Placing a tester or screwdriver on top and rotating on the right hand side will increase the uh, L value. Similarly, rotating on the left hand side will decrease the value. Likewise, in order to adjust the H value, high current or overload value, you can use this now. If the motor is drawing 11 Ampere again, overload value can be set to three numbers above that so 11 plus 3 that will come up to 14 so if we can set uh, the high current value to 14 by using this now rotating on the left hand side will decrease the value of h likewise rotating the value on the right hand side will increase the value of h so pretty straightforward settings this has to be done only the first time you uh, run the motor after that you need not worry about the settings so yeah that's pretty much about settings so in order to display or uh, let us see how this unit works so the controller always uh, checks the current drawn by the motor with reference to low current and high current values. So if the current drawn by the motor goes below the set low current value, so that is if you have set low current value as let us say 9 and if the current goes below that, that is when this warning light blinks for 8 seconds and the motor turns off in the next 8 seconds stating that the dry run error has occurred because the value of the load taken by the motor has gone below the set value of L. Similarly, if you want, uh, if the overload happens, that is when the motor gets jammed and starts drawing more current than it should. So the, the current shoots up above the set H value, that is when the controller senses something is not right and it will turn off the motor in 12 seconds time, stating the reason for turn off. We will uh, quickly have a look at the tripping characteristics. So first we will uh, have a look at uh, the single phase tripping. So it's very important for all the three uh, phases to be present while the motor is running. If any one of the phases is not there, then the motor should immediately be turned off. In order to demonstrate that, we will just turn off one of the MCBs here while the motor is running. I am turning this off. You can see how controller responds. So the current was zero in one of the lines and immediately motor turned off. So and the reason for turn off, you can always see single phase. So this is the reason for oh, the last reason why the motor had turned off. Uh, similarly, if you want to see the dry run settings, or dry run tripping, we will turn on the motor again. Okay, motor turned on. Uh, the error reset will be automatic. So whenever the motor switches on, if the errors are all cleared, it will automatically get reset. So dry run tripping happens when the current drawn by the load, you know, current drawn by the motor or load here goes below the set L value. So let us say here uh, the L value is two, and we'll just increase the L value to demonstrate that. The L value is 5 but the load taken by the motor is 4, henceforth you will see this warning light for the 8 seconds time and then the motor switches off, the motor turned off because the value of uh, current drawn by the motor went below the value of L. So the reason for turn off, it says dry run 4A. So this means the motor had turned off because of dry run and the current drawn while the motor turned off was 4 ampere. So you can have a look uh, while the uh, last drawn current. So this. Uh, is you know this helps while diagnosing the issue. Uh, similarly, we will quickly have a look at the overload tripping as well. So we turned on the motor. So to demonstrate overload tripping, we will decrease the H value. This is only for the demonstration purpose. So here you can see the set H value is uh, three, and the current drawn by the motor is four. The range, the current drawn goes out of this range, and hence you can see this a warning light blinking for 12 seconds. After which the motor switches off. So the motor turned off. If you want to see the reason for turn off, you can just see. overload 4 ampere. So this is the indication. So you can just remember this. So the controller will allow the motor to run when the load drawn by the motor or current drawn by the motor is in between this range, set L and H value. 
okay pretty straightforward and simple and once that is done this is pretty much about it we've seen all the tripping uh yeah we will have a look at the auto start as well you need to switch this uh, keep the switch always turned on and then this is the outer switch this is the auto start on and off switch which we've given outside so if you want to switch on so let us demonstrate the auto start operation the power is not there right now so we will uh, turn on the power so as soon as the power is back the auto start unit um, you know starts working it, it calculates or it senses the pre phase supply for uh, the first 10 seconds you can see the auto start unit is already in action and then switches on the motor automatically so yeah uh, so as soon as the power is back after the 10 second the motor automatically switched on this is because we had switched on the switch of the auto start unit so this is pretty much about the whole starter the starter is neatly designed and uh, very well thought in order to you know meet all the requirements of the three phase dual motors and the main advantage of this is being the customizable feature uh, pertaining to the user respectively uh, yeah feel free contact feel free to contact us if you have any queries of about this product and also you can order this product uh, by contacting us or also visiting our website our website is www.narainelectrics.in you can place an order here on our website and we are also shipping this product throughout the country uh, yeah, and uh, you can make a note of our contact number as well our contact number is 9972243774 i repeat it's 9972243774 please do uh, give us a call so that we can uh, you know give you more details about this product thank you for watching this video